The house will be in order. The chair will address the chamber. Today, a shameful assault was made on our democracy. It cannot, however, deter us from our responsibility to validate the election of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. For that reason, Congress has returned to the Capitol. We always knew that this responsibility would take us into the night and will stay as long as it takes. Our purpose will be accomplished. We must and we will show to the country and indeed to the world that we will not be diverted from our duty, that we will respect our responsibility to the Constitution and to the American people. On Sunday, it was a great, my great honor to be sworn in as speaker and to preside over a sacred ritual of renewal as we gathered under this dome of this temple of democracy to open the 117th Congress. I said that was we, as we were sworn in then, we accept a responsibility as daunting and demanding as any previous generation of leadership has ever faced. We know that we're in difficult times, but little could we have imagined the assault that was made on our democracy today. To those who strove to deter us from our responsibility, you have failed. To those who engaged in the gleeful desecration of this, our temple of democracy, American democracy, justice will be done. Today, January 6th, is the Feast of the Epiphany. On this day of revelation, let us pray that this instigation to violence will provide an epiphany for our country to heal. We know that we would be part of history in a positive way today, every four years, uh, when we uh, demonstrate, again, the peaceful transfer of power from one president to the next. And despite the shameful actions of today, we still will do so. We will be part of a history that shows the world what America is made of, that these, uh, this assault, this assault is just that. It shows the weakness of those who had to show through violence what their message was. My colleagues, it's time to move on.